Hollywood stars. Oh my god, guess who I am today? <sighs> Jessica Rabbit. What do you guys think? I hope you guys love this because I love it. And yeah, this tutorial is going to be on how to achieve this look. So if you want to know how to create this, then just keep watching. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in a bit. Alright you guys, so first we're just going to start by priming our face. I'm going to be using the Professional. You already know that's my favorite. And next we're just going to apply your favorite foundation that you like. Um, right here I'm just going to be using my NYX Total Control Drops. And then for concealer we're just going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand, which is another one of my favorites. And I'm also going to be bringing it a little bit into the eyebrows just to conceal that color a bit. And that way it's easier for me to give that Jessica Rabbit um, red eyebrow. And then we're going to bake a little bit with the Too Faced uh, Translucent Setting Powder. So you already know the drill with that. And then of course we're just going to prime our eyelids with my favorite Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and just blend all of that away with our beauty blender and set it with the translucent powder once again and yes for the start of the show Huda Beauty's new desert dust palette look how pretty it is so first I'm going in with this shade and a super fluffy brush and adding it right into the crease area you want to focus this mainly into the crease and then bringing it up a little bit into the brow bone so you just see me doing here light strokes and circular motions as well. Alright, so then picking up some of this purple shade, I'm going to add it right into the crease right where we added that brown shade earlier. I'm going to be adding it into the crease and then blending it upwards so it can create a very nice and blended look. And then I'm going to be going in with this red shade just to give it a little bit more dimension. That way it's not just one flat purple look. And you're going to see me going back and forth between the purple shade and the reddish shade a couple of times. Just so again we can create a more dimensional look. And here you see me adding a little bit more red and creating some of that halo eye. Because in the center I'm going to be adding a little bit of glitter. Um, as you see here in this clip, so I'm going to add the dark purple glitter on first with my finger because it applies a lot better like that. And then I'm going to be using another finger to do the lighter shade and adding that more into the center of the lid, but then spreading it more into the inner corners and the outer corners. Okay, so then I'm going to be picking up this lip liner. Um, I didn't have a eyebrow pencil that was red tone, so I decided to just do an eyeliner, and I feel like it worked pretty well. So here I'm just outlining the bottom and then the top and then filling them in inside, and I think it created a really nice look. However, I do think that it didn't give me that super red tone that I was going for to match my hair, so then I grabbed this red color from the Electro Palette from Urban Decay, with just a precision um, eyebrow brush and I just started applying it sporadically where I felt like I needed it. Um, and then of course we're going to add a little bit of wing liner just so it can create more of a defined eye and give us that cut eye look to give us a little more seductiveness that Jessica Rabbit has. So we're just giving us a little bit of a wing and then I'm going to be applying these really pretty lashes. Just some wispy lashes will do. Something that looks like you're flying. But yeah, something just super pretty. It doesn't have to be fancy. And of course, I did the other eye off camera. But same drill. You guys know the drill. And then I'm just going to be setting the rest of my face using the Bare Pro in number 8 with a nice big fluffy brush. And of course contouring my cheeks because her cheeks are nice and chiseled. And I'm just going to be using the Kat Von D shade and light palette. And here you see me contouring the forehead and my cheekbones. And then I'm going to dust off all of this excess powder that we had from baking earlier. And I want to also contour my nose because she has a tiny little nose. So that's just what I'm doing here. 
All right, so then I'm going to be taking Warm Soul by MAC, and I'm just going to be using this as a blush, of course, and then I'm going to be using the purple shade once again to just underline the lower lash line and give us a little bit more definition in our lash line. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the gold shade and apply it right in the inner corners for a little bit of luminosity. And my favorite part ever, using the new Huda Beauty Highlighting Palette. We're going to be using this to highlight, of course, and I'm going to be using the peachy shade first, which is so pretty. And then I'm going to go in with that purple shade, which, let me just tell you, was amazing and it totally turned up my highlighting um, level up a notch, if that makes sense. But this palette was so great. And by the way, the wig that I'm wearing is from Party City. It's super inexpensive, so if you want to recreate this look, you could totally find that wig there. So for the lips, we're going to obviously do red because that's Jessica Rabbit's signature look. And first, I'm going to go ahead and take the Stila Lip Liner in the shade Red. Just so we can overline our lips a little bit. And then we can also fill them in. That way our liquid lipstick lasts a little bit longer. So here I'm just filling them in and then we're going to overline the top as well. And a little trick is to just suck your lip and then kind of overline it that way. And it totally works magic. I love that trick. Next, just to kind of tie up the whole look together, we're going to be adding a little bit of mascara um, in our top lashes and, of course, in our lower lash lines, just a tiny bit for a little bit more definition. And then I totally didn't find any gloves at Party City, like her signature purple gloves, so I decided to just take this purple shade from the Electric Palette once again and just start shading my hands. So I thought this was a neat little trick. So if you don't have gloves, you could totally do this. Not just for this look, but for any look in general. But yeah, you guys, that was basically how you can create this Jessica Rabbit look. It's super easy. Just throw on a red top, a red dress, and you're all done. See you next time. Enjoy.